Hi, Lavinia. Hi. Hi, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Good. You're looking beautiful this morning, Lavinia. How are you feeling? Oh, great, really, really. Uh, this lovely sunny morning. <laughs> Good. Okay, so let's get going. First of all, can you tell us about your gorgeous business and whereabouts you're based? Yes. Yeah. My business is called The Soul Whisperer. I'm based in San Diego behind Lidl. Uh, yeah, and, what, Lidl. and what do you do? I'm a clinical reflexologist, so I work from infertility issues right through to end of life. And then I, there's others that I add on as well. So I do facials, facial reflex. There's a list that I do. Can you tell us, just go through, run through that list for us? Yes, I do clinical reflex, as I just said. I do um, baby reflex. And I even teach mums and dads to do it on their babies. I do a crystal reflex, Roma reflex. I do facial reflex. I do normal facials. Do, um, yeah, I can't think of any more. But I know they're, yeah, they're the main. Usually feet, because I love feet. <laughs> Sounds good. But what inspired you to start your reflexology business? It must have started about 25 years ago. Um, me and my friend were sitting there talking. I went through a bit of a hard time a bit of trauma um, and I think it was a bit of healing and it was somebody told me or well, my friend said please go and sort your hands out because you need to contain this healing um, so it probably took a bit of time after so it would have been about 20 odd years ago and then I had my son and then it's been the last six, about six years now so been a long journey bit fantastic yeah. so your friend said to you sort your hands out because of your uh, because of your healing what did yeah. what did you mean by that right um i put some cream on my hands and you can actually see it bubbling gosh so the heat was just so around yeah it was just she went oh go on and where i was i weren't in that place to heal um because i just went through a bit of trauma um so yes yeah, so it was a bit of i think it's a two-way thing but it always stood and then yeah so now when i work on feet it's very powerful um sometimes it scares people um because i'll get things where i go how does she know that it's it's the way i work it's the hands and the feet so it's I have a conversation that's where the name comes from they're the soul whisper. So the feet talk to me and then they'll go, how does she do that? Nobody needs her hand. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's amazing. So you could be working on somebody and then other things come up for that person. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll get, it's not like clairvoyant. It, I'll be doing it and I'll just get this overwhelming feeling. So it could be trauma. And I can tell you how, how it is. I had one client um, and their daughter go through some hard times. She was about three or four, can't sleep. And I went, you're crying, what's the matter? Because who, who are you worried over? And she went, how do you know this? It was just one of the reef, and it's how I picked up how I felt. Um, there was some trauma or some worry. So it's actually that imbalance so it's not oh I knew I didn't know who it was it's only two my client said oh it's my daughter she's having trouble at school and it all came out and it sort of came through so yeah oh that is so what a wonderful gift that is so lovely but what about what have you learned about yourself on the journey of providing this healing to others yeah to others right um I think we're all on this this journey, and we're all at different stages, so we're all separate. Um, 
and it's things that just come it's quite amazing I wouldn't expect you know to do certain uh, people like Warwick Davis so that was a, a journey that I'll never forget it's one of those moments there that you won't forget it's but the way I come at first when the way I got to do Warwick Davis I was sitting there quite I thought someone was pulling my leg um yeah it's stuff that and it's such a wonderful thing and it's the journey that yes it these you know I meet some wonderful people and sure how did you come across um Warwick Davis then how did you right. manage to be treating him right I had a group on Facebook about different therapists Somebody tapped in saying, oh, uh, we've been let down. We're looking for a reflexologist for um, little people. It's their month for Warferson. So Warwick Davis started up this um, charity to help people with Warferson, or, or what they call little people, because they don't really like using that word. There's over there's about over 250 different types. So they're trying to bring all the therapists, all the doctors, everything that they can try and help little people to uh, have a better life and see how we can help them. Um, and that's, that's so cool. So I went, mm, well, I don't know, you know, being so famous. I went, all right, then come and pick me up. And this was August Bank Holiday. Um, so they come and pick me up and I was sit there for a day. And still today, I still can't believe that my hand's been around Warwick Davis. It's just, <laughs> you could tell, yeah, it's just wow. And even being with him, Sydney him on telly, he doesn't do justice. He's such a big person in his personality. And, he's, and he knows so much, and he even knew about reflexology, like walking bare feet, how it can rebalance your feet, and it's like really yeah, knowledgeable. It, yeah, and Amazing. It's also, yeah, and he's one of these guys. Right, where do I need to be next? He's very on hand, so he's very passionate. Fantastic. What a lovely experience. What a wonderful experience. Um, but just bringing it back to you, um, what have you learned about other people on your journey since opening oh your business? What key um, points? Key points. I think people want to come to me because they want to get better. Or, um, and then I do find some that find it really hard because it is hard, um, especially when they come. Um, and they make, oh, I'm not sleeping very well, or um, I'm having a bit of real back backache, this, that, and the other. And it comes out, it's usually um, linked to more the emotional, and they haven't dealt with emotional. And that's where, if they're already, and they are ready when they come to me, but sometimes I put that barrier there, and that, mm. no, I don't want to. And I, and I'm trying to work out, and I think it's more than they got so used to it, or they like being in that trauma. Yeah. You know, rather, but if they went past that and dressed that, because I can help them dress it, because um, it just me and them, and then eventually they can, the life will just blossom. Yeah, when they start letting go of it, and they're and they're safe with the knowledge that they can let go of whatever they're yeah. holding on to when they're with you then. yeah but a lot of them are very scared yeah so it's that trying to teach them to let go and sometimes that's really hard because it's probably something way back and they don't know how to dress it yeah I completely understand that but it's either a a short a short period of difficult times accepting and dealing with that trauma yeah. or a longer period of time of just holding on to it and suffering isn't it so yeah. it's just being able to yeah I get it that must be really hard for you though as a therapist because 
you probably feel like you can only take them so far when you yeah. want to take them all the way, don't you really? This is it. And I could scream out, please just, <laughs> you yeah. know. Um, and then I try and bring him in what I've gone through where um, there's been like domestic violence, you know, so things like that and social support for adoption. So I know the trauma, but you need to... Yeah, break it off. It. I think sometimes they go, oh no, I don't. it's that letting go, and it's you're in a better place once you do, and it's just yeah, I get that. So most in question, uh, sorry, most important question of all is how can you help people? So we've just talked about trauma, and why should people come to you? To me, right, um, right, the way that I do it, it's your journey, it's me give, giving you those tools to help yourself, so reflex is a very relaxing way, it's time out, and sometimes we need that, so even though me working on certain pressure points, I don't actually cure you or help, it's your journey, it's your body, and that's very hard trying to get round. And sometimes when we get symptoms like a bad back, painful, or we're not sleeping, or things like that, that is the sign telling us that we need. And I quite understand that. And I see the whole picture. And it's even like now that I've got people, oh yeah, but you miss something, 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 something. It's, it's they it's putting everything together, then helping that person through and achieving their best because we can heal ourselves and, that, and our bodies are such a wonderful healing if we know how and yeah and it's having that time sometimes it's having that time out closing it ah, it's my safe place i call it that's wonderful that is so so lovely but what what are the main uh, problems that you do solve for your clients what what do they generally kind of come to you with? What sort of issues do you commonly right. deal with? Because I'm such a broad, I mean, at the moment I've got a couple that just got over cancer. So we've seen, uh, they've done about four treatments. And we see the hair growing back quite rapidly. So that's quite, uh, the other one is, I had no feeling. And the last, Two sessions when I'm cleaning her feet, she started to laugh. She went, oh, I've got feeling back. So it's quite a, uh, yeah. Wow. So we know it's there. Um, I work with people who probably more with stress and trauma because I think I understand trauma. And it usually is a trauma. And, and we forget our bodies can have trauma. You know, we, we and what I mean by that is we could be in a car or have surgery and it's that's trauma on the body and it's stored on our nerve system. And if you don't sit there, let get that sorted, it, it will come up to you, get it dressed. It's like, um, I don't think it, it's a dripping tap, I always call it. So you come to the point where it gets that loud, you have to dress it. Amazing. You're so right. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, and finally, right, let's have a talk about where you are and how your clients can contact you. Right. I'm based in San Diego, back of Lidl. Um, and a nice little party. I would say you wouldn't expect me to be there. Because <laughs> it's a um, storage place, so it's loads of shipping containers. But they change, they got about 25 of us that small businesses. So I got one of these, so yeah, so it's a very in a dustless state. You wouldn't even think, but it, it can be quite quiet. You can get me um, through my Facebook page, the, the Soul Whisperer. Um, you can telephone me. What's your phone number? My phone number is 079 
0306926926. Fantastic. And that's why. Um, and then, or you can even message me or email me at info at the soul uk. That's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, Lavinia. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, I lost you just for a moment. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Is are there any any more bits and bobs that you feel um, that others should know about? Are there reasons why people should come to you? <sighs> yeah, give it a go. I think reflex. Give it a go because you know, and it. I also give it a try. Don't rule anything out. Because you probably be quite amazed how it can help, and and if I can't help, I probably know someone that can. So we we seem to work together, different therapists. So that's lovely. That's great. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us today, you. Lavinia. You have yourself a wonderful day. Um, I hope that you're going to be absolutely jam packed, fully booked for the Christmas oh, as a result of well. this video. <laughs> I think I will. You've got to be positive. <laughs> Absolutely. You attract. If you think it, you'll attract it. Yeah. That's, it. <laughs> That's super. Will you take care of yourself, Lavinia? Oh, we'll speak you to you soon. Bye. Oh,